So hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and this video is about scoped timer like when you go into some scope in program and how much time it took to actually enter into that scope and finish that job and come out. So like entire scope timer. So if you see this, this is once one scope, right? I have started this scope and ended this scope. So the moment you will enter into this scope, you will hit this speed, I mean scoped timer. So this scope timer will initialize the constructor and constructor is taking this. Yeah. And we have this study clocks time point, which is a start variable, which you will initialize using now, now meaning whatever the current time is. The moment this object is getting constructed in just fraction of seconds, this will get initialized, meaning you will note the timing that when you are entering to this scope and I'm just giving a new int some name. So you have just made the entry of the timer, like when you enter to this scope and exit is like automatic. I mean, you don't have to do anything because the moment you will come out from here, destructor is going to get called and this will do the job for you. So destructor is going to take like now, which is that time when the destruction is happening and then and is recorded. So and minus start will actually give you the time difference, right? I mean, this is how it is done and we will get the time difference in microseconds and we are just simply going to print that. And this is the way how we do it. So this is just part of STL. So there is nothing to explain here. This is how you do it. Maybe I'll create a video for this, but for now, you just understand this. The difference is a big number and then we convert that into a microsecond and we typecast that into microsecond and just simply print that. So if I will run this, I mean compile this and run this, see it is giving you different, different microsecond times. So this is not a very super big uh, video or something, but it is always good to know many things. So this is one of them. I have learned C++ and things around it like this. So this is the best thing I can tell you. Like for me, there is no structured way of learning. So with this, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, man, and subscribe to my channel. If you are new, I post videos daily. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.